Eleven, eleven, the Jenna. Eleven, eleven, the Jenna. And guess who? Guess who's coming to dinner tonight? It is gonna be out of sight. My name is Jenna. This is Eleven Eleven with Jenna. I am here seven days, seven nights, fourteen times a week. Seven times at eleven eleven a.m. and seven times at eleven eleven p.m. And William D, I will contact you right after the show. How do you like me now? You're like, yeah, finally, Jenna. Please, please. I am going to do a quick invite to my guest, and hopefully I can find him. There he is, and I've invited him, and as soon as he gets the invite, I'll go, you know, all that stuff. Getting ready to go, getting ready to go to NOLA. So we're going to do a short show tonight. Short and cute and all that stuff. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm just going to sing the show from now on. What do you think, William D? Just just going to sing. All the time, all the time, I will sit here and sing and hopefully rhyme. Yes, that's true. That's true. Or not. Just had an incredible salad, a big salad with some guacamole and um, chips and some aubergine on a rice cake and a lentil thing. And so that's going to be annoying. Hold on. Don't hang up. It worked. Fabulous. Oh, big salad. Big salad with smoked fish, a smoked white fish and carrots and cucumbers and something else. Radishes. Fabulous salad. Big salad. You know, Elaine style big salad. So what did you have for dinner tonight? Did you have a big salad, William D? I know you're good for the big salad. I don't know where Mama Grace is. Mama Grace with a beautiful face. Where are you? Hmm. It is Tuesday night. It's kind of a mellow Tuesday. I was in Marin today. Oh, I had a juice at Prest. Michael B. Peltz. Round of applause. Thank you very much. That's, I should just, whenever I see Michael, just go, thank you, Michael. 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 Michael B. is going to be hosting the next, of course, because it's Pelt's Porch Production on May 15th. I am? What does that really mean? That means, you know, I, I sold the Bose speaker, so if I'm on the Bose speaker, it makes it only makes sense because that's just how I roll. But I have my, my buds in. Yo, bud, what up, bud? So tomorrow morning, New Orleans, Southwest Airlines to Las Vegas. What? Then to New Orleans. There she is. Now I can, I feel like I can start the show. Mama Grace in the house. And I invited Andrew Rader and I don't see him accepting yet, but we'll see what happens. We will see what happens today. Hey Bess, Nola, Nola, Bess, when are you going to come back on? Come hang out on the show sometime. Read us a poem. I attended a regular computer meeting at Kazoo Makers tonight and didn't eat much. Oh, okay. Are you what, are you making groovy stuff? Yes. Seriously, come read a poem. Where do you accept? Look at the bottom. You should see a little. I invited you, so right now, if you see, you might see a little uh, red. I did invite friends to watch, so I recently invited Andrew Rader. And guest requests. So why don't you, okay, I will add you and see what happens there. Invite, okay, send you a request. Adding. Do -do 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 
diddling, diddling, it's not happening. Diddling, 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 I'll bring you on the camera. Send you a request. Can't bring, they can't be added to your broadcast while a user is connecting. You are the user. I see you're adding. Okay, hang hang up once. Stop stop that madness and then I'm gonna bring you on. I'm gonna try a different way. So I'm gonna X you out and I'm gonna bring you on. Send your request. I sent your request and then look down below and maybe you need to touch one button. And if that doesn't work, I have another idea. So, but I need to step away. I need to step away. So let me just see. We miss, I know we miss you so much. So is that not working? Okay, I'm gonna step away. Maybe it'll work while I'm over here for a second. Let me think for a second. Where is my, oh, I know where it is. Okay. I can just go old school. I'm going old school. Hmm. I don't know why it's not working. You might need to maybe update, but connecting connection failed. Hey, Rich says connection failed. Well, when all else fails, we just go back to March of 2020. You know what I'm saying? So now, Andy Rader, I'm FaceTiming you. Ready? Do you see it? Hi. Look, everyone, it's Andy Rader right here in the palm of my hand. How are you? Can you hear me? How come you can't hear you? This is funny. Because I really should be at your house. That's the problem. How weird. I wonder why I couldn't get you to work. You try again. Okay. Try it again. Let me um, let me make sure. Bluetooth is on. Little little mama's AirPods. The little mama's Beats. I got Beats. I got a pop. This could work. Yeah, volume. You can hear me. Yes, very well. I think people can hear you. Can you guys hear him? I might need to take my earbuds out. Can you hear? You, yeah, they can hear you, I think. Can you hear him? <laughs> Do a test. I'm talking. Testing, testing. One, two, three. Testing, testing. One, two, three. Testing, testing, testing. Testing my patience. Testing my patience. You want to be up here, here, here? They can hear you just fine. Okay, great. Um, I don't know what's going on with the Facebook invitation, but I was never getting invited to anything. Oh, it said you were connecting and everything. Mama Grace can hear you. Brian can hear you. You guys, Andy's back. Hey, Julie Luce. Hey there. How are you? What's happening? Oh, well, I'm trying to plug in so I don't run out of battery. I'll take these out. Uh, I'll try and that. get the lighting or everything. What's happening here? Hang on. Um, where are you? I'm in Oakland. Hi, Marilyn. That's what I thought. Shauna, where's that uh, little stand? <laughs> I know. I'm I'm sitting here holding it, trying to. I'm trying to figure out a different way of making this happen. All right. Well, I. I'm plugged in. 
Hold on. Well, I missed all of you. Oh, we missed you too. Was it March 20th? You think? No, I think it was way earlier than that. Way earlier. Hold on. Hold on. We're just going to get into bed. I'm going to get into bed. Can you hear? William couldn't. Uh, Buenas noches, chica. You can't really see Andy, you guys. I know you can't, but you can hear him. Really? No, they say they can't hear you either. Julie, turn up your volume. <laughs> Maybe by 9 o'clock we'll work this all out. With you. I don't know what to say, Julie. I'm sorry. William, you can hear me, right? I don't know why you can't hear me. My volume is up on my phone all the way. Well, Andy's, you can't hear, yeah. see him because he's blown out, but. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. So you've had a lovely 10 days. Had a lovely, lovely 10 days. And then before that, we went to Catalina for a little vacation. For those of you who don't know, Catalina is an island, one of the islands off of Southern California, owned by Mr. Wrigley of Wrigley Spearmint Gum and Wrigley Field. And in the 30s, the Cubs had their spring training yeah. on this island. You knew that, Jenna? Oh, yeah. Nino used to go to Catalina every year. Oh, all right. So Nino, Mitch, and I, Lisa, we've all been there. But, yeah, and baseball friends. They also owned um, a really beautiful place in Arizona. The Wrigley's? Mm-hmm. Oh, I'm sure they owned a lot of stuff. They owned, they owned this hotel that had a speakeasy. Uh-huh. Trying to get yeah. you. See, there's Andy. You can kind of see him a little better, right? Now you guys. Yeah, I got an asparagus here. Nice. What did you have for dinner? Asparagus. <laughs> Hi, Shauna. I miss you. I love you. Don't don't cast asparagus on me. I'm, I'm leaving tomorrow. 
I know. Train out. What's going on? Well, you guys were busy with your your grandchild and stuff. Yeah, we were busy. My aunt. Andy told me you were just too busy to, to have a guest. My aunt, oh. I did not say that. Yeah, Bob. Said he's just, we're going to be too busy. And I said, if you come over to the East Bay at all, let me know. Oh, I my, wanted you to come stay here. I will. My, my mom's I sister. Promised. I'll be back. You better. I'm going to uh -huh. New Orleans tomorrow, and then I'll be back. Oh, my mom's sister and my too. cousin were here. It was Passover the week before at my sister's house, at Jen's house. Hi, Mark. Did you have Mark? Did you have Mrs. Argertellis as a teacher, Andy? I did not. You did not. I did not. No. Hi, Margaret. Margaret's here. Julie Luce is here. William Dee's here. My mom is here, and quite and and other new and fun people that you haven't met. Rich oh. and Rod, yeah. So probably everyone's really excited about all this, uh, about what we did the last 10 days. Well, everyone's excited to see you because it's been a long time. It has been, it has been. And we got a little rain. Yeah, wasn't There's that wonderful? A little water in the creek. Oh, cool, in the creek. We're, you know, all winter long, it should be raging. raging. Yeah, well, not necessarily raging, but uh, a good amount of water constantly all winter. This winter, nothing. We had a good, a good amount of rain left end of December, and then nothing until um, last week. A couple of little drips and drops. So there's. There's something here. Something's there. Gosh, so, I really, really wanted you to be on Facebook Live. When we were in Southern California. 11, 11 with Jenna. People are watering England. lawns. Golf courses are green. It's, in my opinion, crazy. Just insane. Because they don't have much water. Yeah, where the did Colorado, it? The Colorado River is drying up. Right. And Arizona, I mean, Colorado River feeds the whole Southwest. And I don't know what they're thinking, but. So you were in Catalina. Where else did you go? Um, well, we spent a moment in L.A. just going back and forth. It was 103 degrees the day we were in L.A. Wow. Uh, and then we were in Los Osos, Central Coast. For a couple of nights. Beautiful. Uh -huh. And I don't know. Let, let's talk about something more interesting. Does anybody want to quit smoking? <laughs> oh, um, you know, summer is coming and people are thinking about flying, going places. And, um, come in oh interesting and it's, it's it is interesting because the range of fear of flying goes from i will never get an airplane wild horses couldn't get me on an airplane to yeah i fly but i hate it and but i do it because i have to do it and and then there's the in between and it's in, the other interesting part is it's not always about the flying part, you know, not necessarily fear of being at 30 something thousand feet going 500 miles an hour. That's not it. It's more for some people, they're claustrophobic and feeling closed in or trapped. Um, for others, it's maybe uh, a bit of agoraphobia being with others, um, loss of control. <laughs> you know, it's not always rational because with the loss of control, you can get on a train or a bus right. or have somebody else drive the car. And, but for some reason, 
having a professional pilot flying a plane right. is, not, is not good enough. Um, but it's never about mm. logic. So you got to get at what what's the real concern. Um, and then sometimes it, it came from an earlier experience of a, of a difficult flight. That, that could happen too. I was on a flight once with a guy that he kept looking at his watch, looking at his watch before we took off, looking at his watch, timing everything. And then when uh, we took off, he was looking at his watch and then he stopped. And I said, I got to ask you, why do you keep looking at your watch like that? And he goes, well, you know, most flights, most plane crashes happen in the, at, at the beginning of takeoff, in the first minute and a half of takeoff. And I said, okay. And he goes, we're in our third minute. We're okay. I go, I go, how do you know that? He goes, I've been in three plane crashes. Oh, my God. <laughs> and he still flies. Good for him. And he still flies. And I felt pretty safe next to him because I felt like fourth is the charm. We might have met the same guy because I met someone <laughs> who also was in definitely more than one plane crash. Yeah, and how many and, people are that? And that, that's... Uh, yeah, an unbelievable statistic. Yeah, they they could probably have a club of three people. Yeah, he'd been in three. Yeah. Wow. So, um, <clears throat> did you fly before the mask mandate was lifted or after? Oh, we didn't fly. We drove. Oh, you drove. Okay. Yeah, but I would still wear a mask on the plane. Now. I'm gonna wear three. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'll, and planes have great filtration systems, great whatever. Uh, circulation, whatever, uh, whatever. But I, I would absolutely wear a mask on a plane. You would, absolutely. I, I wore masks on a plane before COVID happened. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and if you know, because anyone... if I get sick, I, and my friend would bring them back from Taiwan. That's how I got turned on to the masks in the first place. I got these really yeah. cool designer masks, and I thought, you know, if I get sick, I can't do the gig. I'm, I'm here. Hey, where'd you go? Where did I'm you go? I'm just getting a chair. I'm getting a chair. Can you hear me? I'm here. Where's Emma? Uh, well, Emma, um, she's okay, but she's, she's, Emma is our dog, almost 17. Uh, she's doing okay, but uh, she had a, a turn. Oh no! She, you know, the dementia and the loss of hearing, the eyesight. You know, it's all coming together where she'll just stand and pant, and so the vet says it's really all about. Uh, stenosis and, and arthritis in her spine and yeah pain. so it's pain management it's all about pain management so the drug of choice for the doggy is um oh my god i know this i know this oh, that dementia? gather pen yep <clears throat> So she's on two pills a day, Gabby Patton. And she's doing a little bit better. This this was Friday was on Friday I thought, oh my god, maybe this is it. Oh, well give her a hug from me, please. I will. I will. I love my Emma. Yeah. She's a good girl. Yeah, she's a good girl. Well, I'll be in New Orleans tomorrow, so I'll think of Emma. Okay. Because that's where she was from. It is. It is. She was a Katrina survivor. Yes, but as we all know, she doesn't like to talk about it. <laughs> she is kind of quiet about it. Yeah. She, she doesn't want me to bring it up. Um, so that's the way it is. Well, I bet you had a blast with your grandson. That's so cool. Yes. Yes. How, what, how old is he now? Tomorrow, he will be one. Wow. Wow. Yeah. I remember waking up and that I, night and going, Sean is going to have her baby. I mean, um, yeah. Kai. Kai is going to have her baby. 
And what's wild is wow. the, the changes that happen even within a week or so. So when he got to our house, their house, they don't have any stairs. And we have a couple of stairs. And he learned how to go backwards because going forwards down the stairs. Oh, so scary. <laughs> so he now knows how to go downstairs, feet first, uh, crawling. And if he bumps into something as he's backing up, he can navigate it now. He's, oh, that's so cool. All happens very quickly. And he could, if you say, where's my eye? Where's my eye? He could point to my eye. Where's my nose? He could point to my nose. So it's, it's wild because a few weeks ago, you didn't know that he understood anything. That's so cool. Right? That's or at least, I mean, they understand nonverbal. Sure. No, but, but, and, and, and then, any time the dog goes by, it's dodo, dodo. It's dog. And what, are, who are you and Shauna again? I forget. I'm Poppy. Poppy. Shauna's Nani. Nani and Poppy. So cute. <laughs> who the thunk? Well, I knew you would eventually. Yeah. That's for sure. So real quick question. Are you going to be around? Are you, is this a once a month visit from you? Is this a, what, what are we thinking here? Well, we'll figure it out. Um, it's going to be week by week. Week by week. Okay. Way. All right. So you can just let me know. I can let you know. I'll be in New Orleans next Tuesday. All right. I'll get a new Facebook app. So it'll be the most up to date. It's, and, uh, it's fun because then your friends will let you know when you're on. I mean, you you will let you know. Your, your friends will know when you're on. It'll say, Andy Raider is now live. Uh, and that's what I was trying to create this evening. Got it. Was got it was a moment with us. So we're, we're never going to go back to the old way with Zoom. Oh, we will. But I, okay. it's just right now it's easier for me with my phone, usually. Sure. Except, except tonight. Except tonight when I'm holding, when you're leaning up against the bed frame. and Oh, yeah. I have a gig on May 15th in Oakland. In Oakland. Yeah. All right. What day is that? It's a Sunday. Okay. We can do that. Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. Good night, Patty Loman. Sunday, May 15th in the afternoon. In the afternoon. Uh, where? It's in... Oakland at um, Oakland. Uh, it's on Shafter close to close to the spa house close to the house that I used to live in okay is it a house yeah oh oh it's a porch concert a porch concert at, it's a Pelts porch production <laughs> maybe your mom would want to come it's close to her oh yeah we get Wilma at the party. Wilma, Wilma in the house. Wilma. We'll bring Wilma. All right. Well, I don't want to keep you. Like I said, I, we would do tonight short. So right. um, everyone's excited to see you back here. And whenever you can be here, it's always a gift. Well, you're very kind. I miss and you. We miss you, Andy Rader. Well, we'll get the uh, technical side down. And we'll have a more substantial conversation. Good. I miss them. And I miss the two of you so much. Aw. Well, Shauna sends her love. Big love to you, Shauna. I love you. Okay. I love you too. Andy Rader, everybody. Bye, See you everyone. later. Bye. So that's how you just, how do the kids say pivot? We pivoted from one one screen to another. I am going to go continue eating my salad and continue um, doing some other stuff. So have a beautiful night, everybody. Someone give me a letter, please. Give me a letter, please. Oh, give me a letter, please. Yes. Thank you, Dr. Raider. Give me a letter, please. Oh, April Bruce, I'm so happy to see you. And that photo of your family is beautiful. 
that was the letter I was thinking of. Oh, Julie, look, she read my mind. So I will go with that now, and I hope that all of you stay safe, stay healthy, and be real nice. And tomorrow morning, we'll go on a short walk. And tomorrow night, maybe Patty Loman, but maybe Jenna Mamina. I'll know when I'm in Vegas, if we leave on time. I'll get in on time, and I'll be there, and I will rhyme on time, and you'll be there, and all of us will have beautiful hair. So, good night, Mama Grace. I love you so much. So, everyone, thank you for keeping in touch. Thank you, Andy Raider. So, from your thoughts, make them renaissance type thoughts just like andy raider is he's a renaissance man from your words make them make them rowdy rowdy words rowdy words oh yes yes rowdy words and from your heart a romantic heart, yes, from your heart, a romantic heart. So all of you, all of you, all of you, love heart, really, really hard. Good night. William D., call me. See ya.